How's everyone doing tonight? You good? Good? Awesome. And you can hear me? Go to the back. For those who can? Yeah? Awesome. Um, so I want to start off with a poem called Calling Cards. And just wanted to do a room temperature check. Any migrant folks or children of migrants? Anybody in the room? There's like some slight hands. Um, so I grew up with this familiarity of calling cards, which you usually buy at bodegas or corner stores. You just grab the back of it and get, you know, these magical numbers to call back home. Um, and they always used to steal your money. Instead of the 15 minutes, they'll give you like seven minutes. Um, so this is a poem for calling cards. One. Across oceans and land, working to connect one phone line with another. Like an umbilical cord, these five, 10, 20 square cars are more than plastic. These calling cards have heartbeats. Two, we survive through phone lines, a cycle of dialing numbers. On the other line waited abuela, on the other line waited memories, on the other line waited birthday wishes that should have been given in person while eating guava cake. But we, we were here, and you, you were there. On the other line, we waited by pay phones, we waited for your voice, we waited. That is all we had. My dad waited for you. He still does. Three. How do you die a loved one? When your fingers have worn out from weaving too many memories, when your voice has changed since the last time you saw them in person, your bones have broken from their absence, your lips have withered, your face is the only clue left of what they might look like now. Perhaps it's best not to look in the mirror. Perhaps you are too ashamed of holding on to old memories. Four. I can still hear Abuelita Alegría's voice. Abuelita, ¿cómo está Ecuador? Sí, Abuelita, prometo que regreso. And then, a long pause. You hear her shuffling the phone, trying to remember which side to talk from. She's not familiar with this technology. I call it old school, some call it poverty. Abuelita's gentle voice rocks me back to memories of when she carried me as a baby. My face lays flat on her back. She hangs up and I lay gripping onto her words, trying not to let go. Never enough minutes. Five. Calling cards don't have heartbeats anymore. They just hang in the store, teasing you. Now, Dad stops at the bodega for other reasons. His mouth curls up around the rim of the bottle, longing for one more conversation. I think he believes that with every beer, he gets closer to heaven, closer to her, closer to home. And secretly, I wish that was true. Six. The phone goes unused like the passport in my wallet, no more dialing, and his palms are spaces where my grandma is buried, and even then, even then, the lines on his hands create borders restricting him from getting too close. Dad wants to hold my hand, but mostly we look at each other hoping to find comfort. He says that I look like Abuela. So today, I was told by my Instagram that it's International Migrants Day. So <laughs> give it up for migrants around the world. <laughs> I think that I make it a habit to make sure that people understand the fo folks who are migrating currently and who have migrated in the past. Um, are not doing so because of choice, but because you know we're being pushed out and because of displacement. And so, just honoring that we're not just statistics or we're not just data, but there's really hearts and really like nostalgia behind migrant communities and their leaving home, and however home is described for them. So I have an obsession with eucalyptus. Um, so I wrote this for um, this eucalyptus bush in Ecuador that grows in my, in my home in Cumbe. Beloved eucalyptus bush, you 
You are a mere green shadow in the background of a photograph, swaying from left to right, dancing to Julio Jaramillo, singing along. Tu eres mi amor, mi dicha y mi tesoro, mi solo encanto y mi ilusión. I wonder who sang to you when the sun up and left you for Chimborazo. In pitch dark, who was there left to grab your mental leaves with healing powers? Who there to grab those yellow, pink, and red tassels? Recite your prayers of admiration. Yo te daré mi fe, mi amor. Todas mis ilusiones tuyas son. You are more than green shadows in the background of a photograph. You heal. You nourish. Gum trees, they call you. When your trunk is wounded, quino flows out as if to say, I to bleed. Water guzzling aliens, they call you as if to say, your invasive species don't belong here. As if to say, we blame you for the damage on this environment. Don't they know that you were forced to leave, rooting yourself in foreign land? You are a mere green shadows in the background of a photograph. They will claim wildfires on you, call you alien 1,639 times. Your bark damaged in bushfire will still sprout new leaves. How magical that even in terror and chaos, you can create. And I wonder how many of us have been mere shadows in the background. Yo te daré mi fe, mi amor, todas mis ilusiones tuyas son. And the last poem that I have for you is Co America Runs on Immigrants. Um, for those who shop at Dunkin' Donuts, um, <laughs> it's a play on that, so. <laughs> America Runs on Immigrants. My mother works on the 23rd floor of a glass building in the middle of Times Square as a server of a catering company. My father rides the train home from work and in his backpack he carries a pair of tents with blotches of oil. Neither of them have eaten. The thing about America is that migrant workers go days without properly eating so that America can function. My mother, who goes by Maggie, will stand for eight hours straight bouncing on the balls of her feet to catch any demands by white professionals that for some reason know how to work a Google Drive but have no idea had to make their own damn coffee. <laughs> <laughs> My father, who goes by Segundo, ironically is always first to cook, first to burn his hands, first to serve, first to deliver so that men in suits can get their rush lunch order. My mother and father never gave days off or paid holidays or bonuses or 401k or health care. My mother and father depend on the power of Vicks, hot tea, and prayers to the Virgen. <laughs> Sometimes my father and mother do not feel like mine. They feel like they belong to this country. My mother does not see father. My father does not see his brother. My siblings don't see mom or dad. America sees them at all times. America sees our parents more often than we do at 4 a.m., 7 p.m., 11 p.m., and midnight. My nine-year-old brother clasps his tiny brown hands to pray. Diosito, please take care of mom. My father carries our old school photos in his wallet, folded gently, not to crease our faces. This, this is how he holds on to us. This is how he looks after us. My mother carries a large purse with all of our documents because, just in case. They both accommodate Americans' routines by moving around birthdays and bautismos and weddings. America is a spoiled brat, wanting more and more and more. America screams, go back to your country, stop stealing our jobs. And simultaneously whines, where is my lunch? Thank you, everyone.